quarterfinal of the Breeders' Stakes for the two-year-old fillies, the Downs third race. It's stake time! There we go! Awesome! Pacing, that's Kelty Kalui on the inside, leaving crackers in the surf. Oral fixation floated out of there. Toward the inside comes a promising good news. Sugar Mountain left from Pose Day to now looks for a spot. I'm so giddy up along the inside. Just went off stride. I'm so giddy getting around that was with bells on. And then it's back to Austin's Vinny and Red Star Brooklyn. But Barry Treen has put the one to five favorite part of that entry. Kelty Kalui on the motor. A two-hole ride now for crackers and surf. Oral fixation going to look at it from third. It's Sugar Mountain there in fourth to the outside with the bells on. Started up the journey. Austin Zemini's also followed that one. Then back toward the inside. Promising good news. Corner. 28 seconds flat. Gap to Red Star Brooklyn. I'm so giddy. Back pacing the trailer. 10 off the lead. Heading toward the half mile mark in the two-year-old Philly side of the Breeders' Stake. Kelty Chloe looking to sweep the Breeders' Stake. She's on a three-race win streak. A winner in rounds one and two, and she's hoping to cap it off with a victory in the final. Rick White and Crackers and Surf patiently sitting in the two-hole with the bells on, grinding it out there first up. Austin's Minnie's now coming under, urging, looking to go three deep. Oral fixation getting backed up on the inside, and now promising good news just drives up in between horses, and then it's back to Sugar Mountain, six off the lead. The half was 58 and two, just a 30 and two second quarter, and the three quarters comes up, 128 and two, that's only a 30 flat third quarter. Barry Treen in a well-rated Cal Tickle should have something in reserve. On the inside, Crackers and Surf with bells on, still there threatening and promising good news. Part of that favorite entry has come three deep for the z man and the z man is coming with promising good news. Cal Tickle with bells on, the z man doubled up already. Promising good news wins it by about two and a half. It was Celtic Chloe finishing second, so the entry's going to sweep the first two spots. It looks like it was oral fixation next, and then with bells on finish fourth for the gimmick. How about the Z-Man coming with promising good news? The other part of the entry. What a way to break a maiden in the Breeders' Take Final. 158 and 4.